See, it's a nice day for a white trash wedding. Live from Laurel, Maryland, it's snack time. Uh, it's a one-year anniversary of my cousin Shelly's wedding to, uh, to Terry, another Terry in the family who married him through Shelly. And uh, being that it's the one-year anniversary of her wedding, I just got a little nostalgic. And I think I want to take you on the, what is the experience of being in a Crummet family wedding. Now, it was like I said, Shelly and Terry's wedding. And Shelly is the daughter of Aunt Jane. We all remember Aunt Jane. And let's just paint that picture. Let's just take you, let's go back on that magic carpet ride. And let's really feel the wedding. In attendance were Grandma. Uh, yeah, Grandma was there. And not only was Grandma there, Grandma was on her best behavior. You see, it's the one day of the year we really wanted Grandma to be on her good behavior, so we actually let her have all the nasal spray, her addicting afrin that she wanted all day. So Grandma was high as a kite and just in hog heaven. She was like, I love good wedding. Your cousin Shelly's almost 30. I didn't think she was ever going to get married. Like her mother, I thought she was just going to be by herself or single. I never pictured her walking down the aisle. And we were all like, Grandma, shh, this is probably not the best place. Or shh, just, I don't even think we explained it. We were just like, Grandma, shh, quiet, quiet. Oh, I love a wedding. And that day they all made me uh, videotape the wedding. So I had my Panasonic camera and I was filming everybody. And there was Aunt Lauren. Now, Aunt Lauren I've never really gotten a deep detail about. The best thing to say about Lauren is that she has the most incredible speaking voice I've ever heard. Uh, she, she, my, she was from here, and she used to talk normal, everyone said. But when she was about 19, for, for like three years, she was sent to West Virginia for acting up. You know, she was a wild teen. And when she came back, she had a new voice. And uh, this is what Aunt Lauren told me when I pointed the video camera at her. You're not going to... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. That was Grandma. Let me get an Aunt Lauren. You're not going to... There we go. You're not going to take my picture, are you? Don't take my picture. I don't like having my picture taken. Can I get that camera out of my face, please? Oh, uh, so of course I followed her. I'm like, Aunt Lauren, here I come. Here I come. I'm actually, Terry, stop taking my picture. <laughs> Susan, would you make your son stop taking my picture? Uh, let's see who else was there. Well, my mom was there. And I remember once the service started, I had to sit by Aunt Jane. And uh, we all know that Aunt Jane has done her occasional flirtations. But this was the first time I remembered Aunt Jane flirting with me was at her daughter's wedding. And she had her hand on my leg. And then she kind of ran her finger up my leg and up my leg. And then my mom looked over and she was like, Jane, Jane, stop it. And my Jane went, Aunt Jane went, oh. Susan, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but every once in a while, of course, she would just kind of put her finger back on my leg. And, uh, and uh, Aunt Mar Martha behind us was like, Jane, you stop it. Linda, Jane, stop it. Stop it. But anyway, oh, it was a beautiful wedding. But the wedding did not live up to the reception. The reception will never, ever be forgotten by me. And ever! Okay, the reception hall alone was just beautiful. It was wood paneling. Uh, it might have even been imitation wood paneling. And, oh, we were all there. My little cousins, Patrick and Kimberly, were running around like hellfire. And Aunt Lauren just, just spent the whole time going, Patrick and Kimberly, will you two just sit down and shut up? Patrick, get away from that cake. The cake hasn't been cut yet. Kimberly, leave your grandmother alone, please. Will you sit down and stop embarrassing me? And Grandma started talking about her favorite subject. And as we all know, that is World Federation Wrestling. She's like, I said, Grandma, who's your favorite wrestling character this week? My favorite wrestler this week would be Hulk Hogan or Thunderbolt. And I said, which one's Thunder? Are you sure it's not Lightning Bolt? No, Lightning Bolt is not. Who's Lightning Bolt? I said, I don't know. Who's Thunder? She was like, Thunder always fights in the cage. He's got the tattoos. And, um, and then, of course, we had the, the bride and the groom. Oh, it was spectacular. My cousin Shelly, with her really frazzled perm, and her husband Terry were spinning the whole reception. And they thought no one could see them, but we were all just staring at them, pinching each other on the butts. 
And I think the piece de resistance of the White Trash Wedding Day came when Ann Chain, who had been getting steadily drunker and drunker during the reception, came up to me and said, let's dance, and we were dancing. And then when it got to a slow song, and she put her hand kind of on my butt, and she leaned into my ear, and she said, Terry, I need to ask you a favor. Come here closer. So I leaned in a little closer. Do you have $10, honey? And I said, Aunt Jane, what do you need $10 for? And she said, cab fare. Yeah, so I basically had to loan Aunt Jane $10 cut. to get home from her daughter's wedding. Did he say cut? Oh, oh goodbye, everyone.